Woke up this morning, think I'm about to go some of the day. Best friend got caught up when I stayed in Douglasville. What's good with y'all? Welcome back to another video. Yes, I was the fan. It was loud as hell. I just realized it. Um, still snowing outside, so you know how that is. Let's get into the video. How does Narward know everything? How? I'm curious. Let's get into it. Shout out to my boy. It's your boy. Wavy Web Surf here. What's up, guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. See, this video is kind of a profile piece in a sense. It's not necessarily a YouTuber review. However, the person I am talking about has a lot of their videos uploaded to YouTube. But his career has spanned many years before the yeah. inception of the website. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the highly eccentric and infamous interviewer known as Nardwar, the human serviette. So if you listen to music, chances are you've been on YouTube to look up interviews of your favorite artists just to get a better sense of what they're like as a person, just like in a conversation. And if you've been on this journey, I can probably go ahead and assume that you've stumbled across a Nardwar video. So Tyler, could you please tell us Canada? Is your mom half Canadian? Yeah, her, what the fuck? How you know this shit? <laughs> it's the rump shaker. Yeah. This is, this is, this is one of the most impressive interviews I've ever experienced in my life. Did you put this out? Oh my, Kev. This is what the fuck I've been trying to find. A double shout out to my nephew from Vancouver. You know what I'm saying? The Canuck, Mr. Nard, stay hard, Ward. Nardwar is this ridiculous character that basically dresses up in these super flashy clothes and wears this little Scotsman hat and he has this squeaky voice and uh, he comes up and he gives you gifts during his interviews. That's Nardwar. You've seen him before. He's a lovable guy and he's just such a legend that I, I just want to talk he about is. him because I around. love him so much. Well, I remember, and a basic I remember um, he was talking to someone talking about how he like interviewed Kurt Cobain sitting on the floor or something few nights before you know since nardwar is a music interviewer he interviews artists within the music game but he has a special spin on it to where he plays himself up as this like really ridiculous character and he also brings you gifts and on top of that he has some crazy like cia levels of research and knows things about the artists that the artists don't even know about themselves and this creates for some really really entertaining interactions and interviews especially when nardwar interviews hip-hop artists a lot of the time a hip-hop artist's image is kind of shaped into this like rock hard nobody messes with me attitude and they're like supposed to be unapproachable and very just off-putting but Nardwar's just goofy character and the fact that he brings them gifts and knows all these crazy things, it tears down that wall and you get to see a side of these rappers that you would have never seen otherwise. This is one of the reasons why I'm such a huge fan of Nardwar because he's able to break down these rock hard hip hop artists into almost like this childlike state of amazement. You already know what I want. Okay. I'm just curious. I, I just keep going all day, man. Up. Real talk. Previously, I said Nardwar has been around long before YouTube, and it actually has, like, long, long before YouTube. I'm talking about Kurt Cobain, 1990s. It's I'm pretty saying. crazy because when you go onto Nardwar's channel and start looking around, you see some pretty old interviews. Like he interviewed fucking Kurt Cobain. Pizza. So, Kurt, um, I went outside. How was the Toronto show? How did that go? Because I was in Toronto at that time when you played at Maple Leaf Gardens. Don't say that I'm making any kind of ethnic stereotypes. I'm not making any stereotypes because they're not PC. Like, what? How, what, how old is this guy? Is he an immortal creature? I'm starting to think Nardwar is some like interdimensional being or like a vampire that never ages because he has a lot of really old interviews, even stuff from the early 2000s. Like, he has this Slipknot interview where like they're in character and it's just super cringy, but he has a lot of old interviews like this. Yes. Now, he also did Vanilla Ice, which I found very interesting. 
I haven't but seen I many people <laughs> talk about Nardwar here on YouTube. Man, that's funny. And I feel like he deserves some praise. I mean, he is arguably the most talented interviewer in the entire fucking world. He was able to single-handedly get Eric Andre to do an interview and not troll the whole time. Like, in the Eric Andre Nardwar interview, yeah. it's like the immovable force versus the unstoppable object. Because if you've ever seen anybody try to interview Eric Andre, he, he completely commandeers the interview yeah. and just kind of like clowns the interviewer. But he wasn't able to do this to Nardwar. Nardwar held his ground and kept asking him questions, kept shoving the mic in his fucking face. Picture this. I'd be so upset if there was a nude image of you in this comic book. I would be disappointed in you. What can you say about Gigi and Eric Andre? I feel like I'm talking, but you're not listening, and I feel like very vulnerable right now. Thank you. <laughs> Man, that. Here we go. Remember, Mom is a kayak denier, so please don't bring it up. Bring what up? Kayak? What? Wow. That's wrong for that. I. <laughs> And just throwing him albums and records and asking him all these questions. And Eric Andre, you could tell that he was he was kind of caught off guard, which that's a pretty difficult thing to do it, to get Eric Andre yeah. to let his guard down like that. As Whenever he... an artist gets interviewed by Nardwar, I personally consider it like a personality test. Like if somebody does a Nardwar interview and they're super cool with it and they play along with the shtick, I fucks with you. I really like that artist. But there are some cases where the artists will get like upset with Nardwar, like they think that he's being a dick or like trolling and they get mad. And in the case of Kid Cudi, I mean, he fucking leaves the interview. I gotta, I gotta oh, out. Gotta, gotta go. Sorry, oh, okay, can I, well, no, Kid Cudi, do do loot do, can I at least say goodbye? Do 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 the loot do. Can you say bye bye? Come on, man, chill out, man. Please, like, do I? So if an artist doesn't play along with the Nardwar interview, I'm like more inclined to just dislike that artist because they seem like a dick. And sometimes, I mean, an no, artist can get off put yeah, by some of the outside. crazy amount of research that he has, like Nardwar knows some forbidden knowledge. And this brings up my next point. A lot of people are like, how the hell does Nardwar know all these forbidden secrets about these people? Well, the answer's pretty simple. I mean, Nardwar says something in his TED talk that kind of made me understand how he was able to get all of this information about these people. His main thesis in this TED talk that he does is just ask. You can ask anybody for an interview and chances are you might get it. You can ask anybody about some information about someone and they just might tell you. And what Nardwar does basically to get information about these artists is he goes behind the artist's back and talks to either like their managers, some of the artist's friends, or like some of the artist's family, and he's able to gain information via proxy these sources, you know? It seems like a really obvious answer to that question, but that's what he does. That's how he gets his information. I think Nardwar really should be the blueprint for what a good music interview should be. I mean, every interviewer just goes up and be like, so what were your thoughts going into that next album? Or was there anything special that inspired that hit single? You know, like they've been asked the same questions. It's almost like a robotic formulaic yeah. interview that they get every time. But Nardwar comes up and he's like, do, 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 do. Nardwar just switches it up and makes for a really entertaining interview. And I honestly just love him so much. I just had to make a dick ride video about Nardwar because that's my boy. So guys, I'm about to end it here. Um, so anyways, guys, you know, just a, just a, just a video about Nardwar, man. I just wanted to talk about him. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments in, 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 leave your comments in the description below. What's your favorite Nardwar interview? Mine is per, my personal favorite one is like a tie between the DJ Khaled one and the walk a flock of flame one. Those are I like the Tyler creator one and, uh, fuck. What was it? Um, Tyler creator. And a J. Cole recently just did. The top creator one, he was just funny. But the J. Cole one, I never seen J. Cole like that in an interview before. So seeing that, the more playful, you know what I'm saying? I, I like seeing that, you know? Um but what's y'all favorite Nar Wild uh Nar Wild Nar Wild interview. You know what I'm trying to say. That that name's hard to say. Nar Wild. Nar Wild. Yeah, what's your favorite interview from him? Let me know in the comments below, and peace. Ariel the Poet.